Now, getting the tone just right for a hard-hitting programme is a delicate balance of being fair and informative. The next four important nominees have managed just that. Let's take a look. The other side of Jimmy Savile, Exposure. Tonight, Exposure investigates allegations that away from the cameras, Sir Jimmy Savile was far from a genial eccentric. He stands accused of being a sexual predator, charged with at times preying on the very teenagers he invited to appear on his BBC TV shows. Britain's hidden housing crisis, Panorama Special. A small business hit trouble and now the bank is taking the family home. Something that's taken years and years and years to build up. And it's just gone. The shame of the Catholic Church, this world. The most beautiful, idyllic place you could imagine to live, where innocence collided with evil. It seemed that the wolves were protected and the innocence of children the little lambs worked. What killed Arafat? Al Jazeera investigates. In this exact room, Yasser Arafat dies at 3.30 in the morning on the 11th of November, 2004. And it's been an unsolved case ever since. Is this something, some unusual illness or whatever? Or on the other hand, is it some poison? The BAFTA is awarded to the shame of the Catholic Church this world. The shame of the Catholic Church was about the bravery of one young man, a 14-year-old boy, to have the courage to speak up and try and stop abuse back in 1975. It's also, by contrast, about the Catholic Church, the Catholic Church in Ireland, which, by contrast with Brendan, showed only cowardice. We're accepting this award tonight on behalf of Brendan Boland and on behalf of all victims of abuse, of paedophile abuse, and uh, in, in, it's, 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 you know, without their trust to tell their stories, these programmes can't be made. I'd just like to say thank you, BAFTA, as well, and thanks to... We're in a very, very tough category, and it's a real honour to win this award. And again, I'd like to thank my team and the BBC and everyone for their support. Thank you very much. We came along tonight. We knew our story had incredible integrity, and we knew that all of us had worked incredibly hard to produce a, a film which we felt was important and which we felt did justice to those who had trusted us to tell their story. But we did not expect to win tonight, but uh, so we were totally, totally flabbergasted. So I'm delighted, of course. No, well, it's I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic win and it's a deserved win. And do you think that, that the documentary has helped people as well? I think, what, I think what we know from when we first went to Donegal to film, Dar had a big connection there and it's a, a story he'd been wanting to tell for a long time. But I think when we first went there, it was quite hard for people to find the courage to speak. Mm. And I think I was quite shocked how hard it was for people, no matter how long ago it happened to them, to speak and to see grown men break down and cry because of something they've never been able to talk about before was really difficult. I think to give people a chance to speak and to try and speak out and try and, you know, help others, that's what the boys in the film really wanted to do and they, they were really pleased with the film, which is the most important thing. Yeah. One of our contributors used the phrase, this is where innocence and evil collided. I think by us telling that story, hopefully avoids that happening. Not necessarily in the future, but it'll lessen the effect of it, would bring it to the public perception as well. Um, thank you very much for this thank and you. congratulations once again. All right, thank, thank you. you.